Radio New Vegas, and I'm your host, Mr. New Vegas. And in case you're wondering if you've come to the right place, you have. I've got news for you. A big congratulations to a young band of soldiers who shattered NCR records on a combat readiness evaluation at Camp Golf. Go get them, guys. Move it on. The influx of displaced residents to the refugee camp at Bitter Springs has caused a strain on rations there. NCR officials are asking for donations. Mojave, mo problems. Am I right? Hey, New Vegas, have you ever said you love someone when it wasn't quite true? Sure you have, but you shouldn't, because it's a sin to tell a lie. Indeed it is. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we went off to Vault 19 to deal with the Powder Gainers that were stationed there. We managed to get them to surrender to nearby NCR authorities, and we also paid a visit to the Followers of the Apocalypse safe house and got a few little goodies from them. Today, we're going to be doing the tough duty of having to go and deal with Mr. House directly. He's been you know, making a little play against the NCR and possibly for his own selfish gains. So we're going to go make sure that doesn't happen. I'm also at Vault 21 because, I, as I said last time, I would pay a visit to the vaults one last time to see if I could get any more vault suits to give to Sarah before we decide to do this illegitimately. And I did come across a few vault suits. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but let's interrupt her... What would it be? Breakfast? No, wow, it's already over. Man, you eat fast, girl! Morning. Well, well. If it isn't the Vault Explorer himself, welcome back. Yeah, it's good to be back. I got some Vault gear for you. You do? That's wonderful. Let me see what you brought. All right. That's gonna net you lots of caps, my friend. Do you want to trade all your Vault suits right now? Yes, I would. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. About 60 caps is what you consider to be a lot of caps, huh? <sighs> women. Alright. Well, let's head off into the vault, because apparently that wasn't enough vault suits for her. I think it was... I only came across, like, two normal vault suits, and the rest were just, like, utility jumpsuits, and let me guess, that did not count. No, it did not! Of course, it would never be that too easy. So I guess we'll have to come back here and finish this quest up next time we pay a visit to the other vaults, which we will be doing... Not right now-ish, possibly in the near future-ish, because we will be visiting all the vaults by the end of the game. But with that said and done, we need to head down deep into the vault, and we need to make a left and head straight on till morning. Basically, I think it's the first door on our left here that we need to get into. Second door on the left we need to get into. Yes, this is it. Alright, just make sure no one's around, have a little bit of daft hands. Yep. Eh, karma took a hit, but you know what? I'll just hunt some fiends to, you know, make people like me a bit more. It's kind of funny. I hunt people who officially are raiders, but you know what I mean, to make people like me more. The wasteland's a messed up place. Have you noticed that? But anyways, last no globe. It's the strip. We're done. Let's get out of here. And it's time to pay a visit to dear old Dr. House. And we need to make sure that he does not mess with the NCR's plans for the future. The NCR, a lot of people give them shit because it's like, Yay, you're, you're taking over our land. You're annexing all these places. You, you're enforcing all your rules onto us. And, but you know what? I kind of... The reason I like it is because they're the lesser of the four evils in this game. And by that meaning the four other endings. They've got the better choice because, well, they are trying to help people, although their attempts are misguided and, you know, not that well enforced. But you can understand where they're coming from. They just want to set up an, a government after the fall of humanity and just want to try and get things not back on track, but at least, like, soften the blow and hopefully return humanity to what it once was. I kind of like it. It's kind of like, oh my god, Veronica. Uh, I was going to make a joke about that, but it would probably be way too bad even for me. But anyways, as I was saying, they're kind of like the Enclave. Uh, trying to set up a form of government, but, you know, they're doing it terribly. Although, unlike the Enclave, they're not cartoonishly evil. They're 
they're questionable. I and I'd rather back someone up with questionable morals than cartoonishly evil morals. <coughs> Legion. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's also independent independencyizing Vegas, if that's even a word. I highly doubt it. But if there's no one to take control of the chaos, then there's just no order. But anyways, let's head up to the penthouse. I've got to talk to Dr. House about our dealings with him, and then we will head back to Hoover Dam and report our accomplishments, if you can even call it that. But first things first, Jane. Mr. House is just pleased as punch you got those old Securitrons back online, sugar. I would like to give you all the snow globes I have. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Very good. Now tell me, you look different somehow. Did you cut your hair? How sweet of you to notice, sugar. I've been upgraded to the Mark II software, and it's peachy having these high explosive weapons fully accessible. You know, with a voice like that, the words high explosive weaponry should not come out of your speaker. Enjoy your time. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy it, all right. Securitron number 92106. House? The foundation is laid. My Securitrons on the strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. I've done enough work for you. I'm officially signing in my resignation. We are through. I offer many benefits, but vacation time isn't one of them. Hmm. What's the mission? I might as well get a little insight as to his plans before we kill him. Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomers. Madam. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. If not, then I want to make sure that the Boomers don't sign similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR or Caesar's League. Too late. The Boomers already vowed to help me out. Well done. The Boomer's firepower may prove an advantage when the battle for Hoover Dam comes around. Your next assignment would have been to investigate the Omertus, but you managed to foil their scheme before I could put you to the task. I should compensate you as though it were an official assignment, however. Wouldn't want to disincentivize your proactivity. I like it. How is this pay me for work I've been doing for the NCR? The Omeritas were clever, but they were no match for me. Arrogance was their undoing. There might be a lesson in that, but moving on... I'm not arrogant, I'm just your overcompensating. Your assignment is to locate and destroy remnants of the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, pardon? The NCR nearly did the job at Helios 1 a few years ago, but there seem to have been survivors, unfortunately. Given the Brotherhood's fanatical views on technology, they can be counted on to oppose my regime. Please, put them out of my misery. Any possibility of a diplomatic solution? We're talking about a coterie of bulging-eyed fanatics who think all pre-war technology belongs to them. They'll never accept my using an army of robots to defend New Vegas. While it's a fight I can win, I'd rather sidestep it altogether. Wow, not even going to attempt diplomatic solutions, huh? I don't want to kill off the entire Brotherhood. Don't tell me you've fallen for the stories of noble paladins on crusade, preserving mankind's technology in a benighted age. Dross. Hey, one of my best friends is, a, ba case, is a Brotherhood. This is an employer-employee relationship. I've given you an assignment, and the directions are clear. You know what? Say you keep control of New Vegas. What next? 
we might as well get a little bit of insight into House's workings before we end him, because, you know, telling me to kill the Brotherhood has just put the final nail in this coffin. The economy is a blast furnace in which can be forged the steel of a new rail line running straight to a new horizon. What is the NCR? A society of people desperate to experience comfort, ease, luxury. A society of customers. With all that money pouring in, Give me 20 years, and I'll reignite the high-technology development sectors. 50 years, and I'll have people in orbit. 100 years, and my colony ships will be heading for the stars to search for planets unpolluted by the wrath and folly of a bygone generation. In the meantime, you'll rule Vegas as some kind of dictator, right? I prefer the term autocrat. I would rule as a chief executive. I would not answer to a board of directors or any other entity. Nothing to impede progress. If you want to see the fate of democracies, look out the windows. And what's keeping you from abusing your power? My judgment. I have no interest in abusing others, just as I have no interest in legislating or otherwise dictating what people do in their private But time. you want to abuse the Brotherhood. Nor have I any interest in being worshipped as some kind of machine god messiah. I am impervious to such corrupting ambitions. But autocracy? Firm control in the hands of a technological and economic visionary? Yes, that Vegas shall have. What else did you want to discuss? You, were you aware that the White Glove Society used to be cannibals? I'm surprised you let them into your fold. Yes, of course. But refraining from those dietary practices is a primary requirement of their contract. They've been good to their word. Put together one hell of a resort hotel, too. From what I hear, I'd want to eat at the Gourmand every night, if I were ambulatory. What else did you want to discuss? Mm. Goodbye, Mr. House. Goodbye. For the last time. Wait. What? Don't tread on the bear. I'm sorry, what? Huh. That was weird. You know, that, that got me a little... Oh, wait, there it is. The NCR knows you're working to assist its interest and will no longer accept your... What? Um... I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're back. So I think what happened was I went too far into House's main story quest line that I overrid the NCR story. So now the game thought I was going to betray the NCR and go and decide to do the house ending, which is why the don't tread on the bear and I couldn't find for the Republic in my quest log because the game thought I was done working for the NCR and decided to go work for house so we're not gonna talk to him instead we're just gonna go and kill him let's just open this terminal open the antechamber yes all right time to run like hell hello Securitron oh god all right um I could use some medics just in case because I know these Securitrons have rocket launchers on them. Terminal. I want the control room elevator. Yes, there. Wow, these are the worst personal guards for a house I've ever seen in my life. Like, they didn't even try to stop me. Hmm, interesting. What have we here? Unseal the LS chamber. Warning. 
microbiological infection risk. Proceed. Yes. Well, there's a bigger risk than just an infection house. Oh my god, he's hideous! Oh my god, he's got a beard! Either that or he's got like veins growing out of his chin. House, we need to talk about my resignation. Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. You call this good? Hmm. I just don't... You know what? The NCR asked me to get rid of you. Make sure that the people who he tried to screw over, his last thoughts are the fact that they screwed him over. Those snakes. For them, you sad, misguided whore. You know, you want me to keep you alive, but just saying that is just nailing more, putting more nails in your coffin. I could put him back in the tube, good as new. You know what? In the words of a game that I hold near and dear to my ha heart... May there be a hell for you. A Tartarus bleak unending. Ha! Joke's on you! I already have that in my life. Oh, I just depressed myself. But anyways... In the name of a game I hold near and dear to my heart, I have a saying that I wish to pass on to you before you pass on. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Did Blade Mess actually happen? Oh god, I caved in his chest! Looks like the house has gone bust. And then I failed the house has gone bust. And I can't put him back in his tube. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Oh well, a trophy to my accomplishments and a tro and a reminder to all who play dictator in this world. I always wonder what's down there, but I think it's insta-kill if I decide to drop down. Kill or disable house, house is dead, his grand dreams of New Vegas will now never be realized. And in fact, killing House, or just, you know, putting him back in the tube, a tragedy has befallen ma all mankind. Robert Edward House, 261 President, CEO, and sole proprietor of New Vegas Strip, industrialist and technologist, founder, president, and CEO of the multi-billion dollar pre-war robotic software corporation, out Robert Go Industries, <gasps> has died. Generally recognized by Mr. House to be mankind's only hope for long-term survival, Mr. House passed away passing may very well silent the death knell for the entire human race. Lost forever is his bounty of knowledge considering humanity's longevity and depths of and behave depths and breadth of which could he have a, apt to say fill several textbooks. He was not exaggerating though. He did not achieve his goal function of functional immortality. Let us not forget that he died at the age of 261. How many people can do that? I mean, come on! Also lost forever are House's singular personality force of will, vision, and leadership ability. The possibility of an equally capable factor of emerging from the current human population and link mankind to the future equivalent quality is less than 0.000112% by objective margins too complex in detail of this obituary. Personally, the force of will, born June 25th, 2020. Wow, it's only three years and House will be born in real life. If there is actually a Robert House who gets born in three years, which just instantly dates this LP, I'm going to be both shocked, amazed, and somewhat terrified. House was orphaned at an early age when his parents died in a freak accident to auto gyro lightning. Through cheated of his inheritance, House attended a prestigious institute in Massachusetts and founded Robco Industries with his 22nd birthday. Within five years, it was one of the most pr 
profitable corporations on Earth. Vision by 2065, House was certain that an atomic war would soon devastate the planet. A great personal expense has he developed technologies to ensure this, the structural longevity of the city of Las Vegas, as was known at the time. On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted the city. Mr. House defend, defeated all of them. Talk about whiz, vision. Wow, man, whoever wrote this obituary, to be honest, it was probably House or House's Yes Man. It's such a kiss ass. Leadership! Mr. House survived the war, of course, and would later recruit the three families, negotiate the Treaty of New Vegas, and rebuild the Vegas Strip. While those achievements yield many immediate benefits, they were all part of House's master plan to reignite mankind's quest for technological advancements, a plan without the human race, nowhere to go, and nowhere to turn. We'll revise and finish this up later and have said age of death to update automatically. Orbit makes satellite silent points, but pearls before sw swine, of course. Let's hope the ingredients never have caused to read it. Who knows how many of them are even literate. Wow, what a narcissist. Let's get out of here. I'm actually happy he we killed him. He made me want to kill the Brotherhood. Hey, uh, look who's here. Look who's now running the show. Yeah. I'm in charge of things now, baby. And you know what? This place just seems a little empty now. You know, we need to we need a fresh face in the Lucky 38. We need a new face. We need a happy face to be the face of New Vegas now. And while it would be nice to put my face on the computers, I know a better fellow who would be even happier about the job. Now, as you notice that uh, the Securitron who I gave the snow globes to, along with, if we can grab Veronica and Eddie. Oh. Eddie. Head outside the Lucky 38. Victor is no longer anywhere to be found. I guess I could also have said it because he also stands by the elevator. But yeah, if you decide to go against House, at this point in time, it's basically the point of no return if you want to do the House quest, which I'll cover in a later series along with the other endings. It's something I have planned by the end of, by, at the very end of the series. It's probably going to be like a bunch of bonus content that I'm going to go over sometime after the last video. I don't know when. But yeah, this is basically the point of no return. You cannot do anything to help House anymore, mostly because he's dead now. But where we want to go is we want to head back up to Benny Suites. Because we're going to pay a visit to a familiar happy face that we haven't talked to in a long time. And I do mean a long time. I just need to remember which elevator it was. Let's see, this one. Well, it would probably be the only elevator that I can actually go into. And I believe it's this way is the Benny Suite. Yes, here it is. Now, I might as well make note of something. Uh, one of the Gunrunner challenges, and you might be wondering why I killed House with a golf club of all things. Well, it was actually a Gunrunner's challenge for one of the perk was to kill House with either Nafi's Golf Driver or the Nine Iron, which is, of course, as my saying, was a non back to Bioshock. Hi again! Which makes sense. I mean, House did look like Andrew Ryan. I'm ready for you to join me at the Lucky 38. Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip? Wonderful. Let's go. Alright, now I guess we gotta go meet back at the Lucky 38. Gee, a lot of backtracking. I'll see you there in just a little bit. And we are back in the Lucky 38. And oh, cutscene. One of the very few. Hey, look, our happy-go-lucky friend. This is big, huh? A very big moment. Here it goes. I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. Go, yes man, go! You were nowhere near that console, sir. You're not even up the stairs. access his data banks and view telemetry on every Securitron on the network. 
Every Securitron on the network has been upgraded. Pretty neat, huh? The Securitrons at the port are on standby. I see a status log here confirming that the Mark II OS upgrade installs correctly. They'll be all set to go once we boost my transmitting power and bring them online with the network. But we'll worry about that later. Well, goodbye, yes man. Come back later if you need anything. You are now the new face of Vegas, literally. And actually, oh my god, the where Medex. You know, looking at yes man. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Did I seriously just mess up the quest again? If you continue to... Okay. Good. I'm just... They're just coming on to me thinking, Hey, you better not continue working for Yes Man. And you better not be going behind our backs. So, Florida Republic is still on. I just don't want to continue it. Okay, I got a little scared for, the, for a second. I thought I was going to have another house situation. But you know what? Looking at Yes Man on the TV reminds me so much of Nick Jr. You remember Nick Jr.? You know, like, the the face character that was, like, the spokesperson for it? God, I'm so old. Let's head back into the presidential suite while we're here, because I got a few things I want to sell off to the terminal that that's inside my room, and also want to show off my nice little collection of snow globes. Yeah, it's nice. Nice little collection, very snow globish. Now you might be wondering what's with the shelf up above them. You know, it looks like there's spots for snow globes up here as well. Well, that's actually for the DLCs. There's four snow globes in each of the, one one for each of the DLCs. And before you ask, no, don't freak out. What's up? Hi, arcade. Uh, it doesn't matter if you kill House and basically render his companion uh unresponsible because it automatically counts the snow globes that you collected in the DLCs. So that's nice. I'm happy they thought ahead of that. Uh, just real quick, just want to sell off my useless wares. I might as well sell these tire irons, these 9mm pistols, all this stuff that I collected while going through the vaults. I don't need it, but I do need the caps. Anything else? Uh, spike knuckles. And I might as well do the 8 useless vault utility jumpsuits. Alright, there we go. 560 caps. Not a whole lot, but eh, it's something. Back to the casino. Let's go pay a visit to the NCR and reassure them that, hey, I'm not going against you guys. I'm just looking for a little bit of experience. Aw, just when the standing around was getting exciting. Yeah, if you're so excited, I'm sure you had a nice conversation with the robots earlier. <laughs> Colonel, I have news for you. Job well done. And I totally Report. wasn't trying to usurp you guys, I swear. It, it was just a bad form of communication. House is dead. Then that's one more nuisance we won't have to worry about. Good work. Our efforts haven't gone unnoticed either. The brass have been throwing around the idea of having the president visit the dam for a while now, to rally the troops and boost morale and such. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Oh. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios One solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? What is it, what is it with everyone hating the Brotherhood? Is there no peaceful way to resolve this? Don't even think about it. Any Brotherhood survivors likely harbor a deep grudge against us. We can't afford to leave such an enemy alive. Any other objections? Maybe you'd like to bring the Brotherhood some flowers. Well, I would like to give Veronica some flowers, but sadly she doesn't swing that way. How do you expect me to destroy the entire Brotherhood chapter? A fair question, and one I've had our strategists think about for some time. Their consensus is that we must focus on the one thing we can count on. With the Brotherhood, that's their obsessive attachment to technology. They'd never go anywhere that didn't have working power. I'm willing to bet that wherever they're hiding, there's a working reactor powering their equipment. That's their vulnerability. Detonate that reactor, and we can safely cross the Brotherhood off our list of concerns. Is there anything else? I thought the Brotherhood were all wiped out at Helios 1. How could some have survived? 
After the battle, we consolidated our hold on the plant before pursuing our enemies. It was a mistake, to be sure, but there wasn't really any place for them to go. When we finally gave chase, however, they had simply vanished. Some of our people think they had some means of conveyance, like the vertebrates the Enclave used and hightailed it out of here. I think that they found some place to hide close to Helios and never went that far at all. Any other questions? All right, well, any idea where I should start looking? As I said, our scouts were some ways west of Helios when they disappeared. All right, no ma'am, no more questions. Dismissed. But hey, we leveled up and hey, we reached vanilla max level. Now, what's left to put put all the resources into? Alrighty, so honestly, there isn't really a whole lot of utility resources I wanted to put my skills into. I basically upped Barter to 75 just so I could get better deals. Energy weapons is it to 40 because what we're going to be getting into pretty soon, also the fact that we're going to be dealing with the Brotherhood, it's going to be really useful to get a decent level of energy weapons. Explosives is set for life. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to going to up explosives ever again throughout the entire game. Guns, I want to up at least to 90 or 100, basically because I want to stop swaying all over the place when I try to aim a damn thing. Lockpicks 100, don't really need to do anything there. Medicine's 75, I don't think that we need medicine for anything else. I think we might need one for 80. But if that's the case, I already got the means to just pass it, so I don't really need to upgrade it anymore. Melee weapons I might focus on later because, like energy weapons, I'm going to need... There's going to be a lot of melee fighting. Repair is set because I already got the perk that I wanted for it, which was for 90 repair. Science is 100. Sneak, again, I've never sneaked in this entire game. Well, willingly. Speech is at 100. Survival, completely useless, and I put one into an arm just because that 29 was bugging the hell out of me. Plus, it put everything up to an even 5, so that's... That's what I'm going to go with. And now the big question. What is the last perk I'm going to do for Vanilla Me before we start going into DLC levels? Well, I guess first things first. Why don't we go up to... I guess there was no level 30 uh, thing. Is there... Actually, there is a level 30 perk, but what is it? Oh, I need 8 endur... Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, wait. Burden the Bear, Strength 6, Endurance 6. The Wastelander with the most gear wins or at least survives. You can now carry an additional 50 pounds of gear stacks with Strong Back. Do I actually have the Strong Back perk? Eh, it doesn't look like it. But maybe I do have Strong Back. Wait, no, that's Long Haul. I think that's... Yeah, being over and covered, I'm still able to fast travel. Eh, it looks like I already got Strong Back. Which is nice, but I guess nothing really to do. Chili 5. I guess everything else is locked behind, you know, like, special skills. Like, okay, guns 45, melee 45. You know, do with lever action. Right, da, 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 yeah, I guess there's nothing else to do. Alright, so it took a lot of thinking to do. And I was debating on either between Math Wrath or... Where is it? Gunslinger. But I think in the long run, Mathraf is going to be better. That basically will let me do more action points because all AP costs 10% less. So that's what I'm going to go with. That's my choice. And we're done. It's just out of Hoover Dam Power Plant. I guess I probably should stop going down all those stairs and just, you know, take the direct path towards the game crashing again. Well, that was disappointing. And not, not the fact that we have to go kill the Brotherhood by e any means necessary. No, it would be the game crashing. But you know what? I gotta give the Xbox One this. And no, this is not a pay promotion thing. At least, unlike the 360, it boots you back to the main screen so you can try it again. Unlike the 360, we have to get up and actually restart the thing manually. I, I, li I like that they did that. But anyways, now that we've... Uh, killed house that actually opens up a gateway and not in the good way well I guess in a good way by whichever means you look at it basically killing house is passes the threshold of we can now do arcades personal quest but we're not gonna be doing it right now mostly because done one certain way completely removes him as a companion permanently in your game and I still like the guy and 
I probably keep him around a little bit longer, at least until after our dealings with the Brotherhood is done. And you know, since we got ourselves our very own Brotherhood scribe in lovely power armor, I and we also got in pre-war iBot. I'd say we go pay a visit to them. After all, everyone wants a piece of them. I want to see what the big deal is. So we need to go all the way to Hidden Valley. Closest thing would be Gene Skydiving and, of course, NCR Correctional Facility, which the Powder Gainers still hate me. Ah, uh, well, poor them. I tried my best to get on their best side, but apparently it's not good enough for them. They, they But then again, why would I be on the good side of hardened criminals? Who, you know, have attack caravans constantly. And yes, they don't like the Legion. No one likes the Legion. Name one person who actually likes the Legion besides the Legion. That's right, you can't! Well, I guess some caravanners, because they do see them as protection, is like, if you're marked by the Legion, raiders are more hesitant to attack you because they know the repercussions of doing so. Uh, yeah, they're still gonna start shit with me, and I gain karma for killing them, so, you know, I know I'm doing something right. Ow. Ow. Eddie, who is shooting me? Oh, you. Holy shit, Eddie, you just made his head pop like a cherry tomato. Oh god, he's got dynamite. You missed! How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you! Oh god. Man, you can just tell how much of an early level area this this is, and how much of a non-threat the Powder Gainers have become. It was like, at the beginning of the game, yeah, they're a bit of a nuisance, but now, like, near the end of the game, it's like, eh, get the hell out of here. Is there anything this pack ramen has? Whiskey. I'll take it. I'll give it to Cass as a token of friendship. Uh, something tells me that's Core Junction up ahead, and I don't want to pay that place a visit. I actually think that that's... Are your death claws up there? No, th those are just powder gainers. All right. Wow, they're all over the place. Well, makes sense. Their base of operations is literally right there. Even though technically Vault 19 was their base of operations, they still control it. So I'm gonna count that as their current base of operations now. See ya and missed. Come on, don't whiff it. What did I say about whiffing it? Hold still so I can shoot you in the leg! God damn it. Wait, did I actually hit him? Nope, he's moving around. I think the karma game was just from the last one I killed. Trouble. Get over here! Come on. There we go! The body armor is not doing any favors now, is it, buddy? Uh, is it Hidden Valley this way, or is it further down the road? No, it's this way. Alright, so we'll cross through here. This dread music play, and it's like something foreboding's about to happen. Veronica, you're sure your people will not try to kill me if we try to get into their base of operations, right? I mean, yes, technically I was invited by them because one of their... What was it, a knight? Or was it a scribe that wants to look at Eddie? Hell no. There's something over there, alright? Some a lot of things over there. It might be powder gainers. It might be scorpions, because I know there, there's a lot of scorpions in this area. Hi there. My name is April Mortimer. I monitored a communication earlier between you and someone with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. Uh, okay, you had to wait till I got all the way to Hidden Valley to contact me? You couldn't do it sooner? Uh, Veronica, get over here. I may need you to punch something. Well, this just got a whole lot creepier. Alright, just, just turn your siren on, everything will be alright. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee-woo. 
Wait, this is actually really unnerving. I know there's nothing of threat here besides a couple of, like, bark scorpions. Yeah, it's just, like, bark scorpions, but still, you can't tell me that this doesn't look a little unnerving to you. Like, who would openly walk out into this? Nope, what do we got here? Open the hollowed out rock. There's the magnum rounds. Veronica, any insight? Hope you're picking the winning side here. Be nice to fight for someone who's gonna be around for a while. Well, I've already picked my side. I've been picking my side since the beginning of this adventure. Um. Alright, I guess we're on our own. Hello? Pizza delivery. Be much easier if I could actually see what's going on. I guess I could wait till day because the storm might die down by then. I there's a lot of things over there that I don't think are very nice to me. Trouble. No, you don't say it's yeah, just scorpions. Can I wait? No, I cannot. Of course not. Be too easy. Wait now. Nope. I think Eddie just pissed off all those scorpions over there. Wow, there are a lot of them. Alright, when in doubt, clear him out. Nope, don't look at the pit boy. Eddie can take my kills, I guess. Why don't we wait till day and see if this will clear up by then? Hopefully it will. Oh god, what was with the colors all of a sudden? It was like, all muted. Hmm. Well, it, it's much less scarier now. Oh, hello, what have we here? Now you see, if I l decided to stumble around in that sandstorm, then I would never have found this location. Ban the bomb! Billy rules, you suck! What does that say? Fight, apathy, don't or don't? Steve was here. A loving couple. Give peace a chance. All war is the bomb piece. Smud. You know, good old smud. Hmm. Well, we found something. I don't know what it is. Looks like an abandoned bunker. Who knows, maybe those Brotherhood types may have converted into a base, or maybe this is just something abandoned. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. Or maybe it's the Brotherhood. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> for Pete's sake, opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. Hmm. Hidden Valley Bunker Level 1. Down into the depths of the bunker, and there we finally found the Brotherhood. I'm in charge of security around here, and I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself. And we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Eller's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. All right, will do. Gonna be home, Veronica. Looking sharp, Ramos. Behave yourself this time, Veronica. Okay, bad. Thick tension, thick tension. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? Oh, you seem very nice. So you're head of security, huh? That's right. Nothing gets in or out of here without me knowing it. What exactly are the rules regarding entering and leaving? Under the lockdown, only essential personnel are permitted to enter or leave. That includes supply runners and high security patrols. All other personnel are forbidden to leave. And any personnel that were out there when the lockdown was enacted are forbidden from returning. Alright, well, good to know. 
Let's just go talk to the Elder and be done with this. Ooh, fancy. I gotta say, they got a nice little set I heard set up down here. On its way to the Vegas area. What's up? Anything to say about the Brotherhood? Nope. Okay. I guess the NCR is finally getting serious about fighting the Legion. I guess it would make sense they got people, they got like scouts going around. It would make sense why they know about the whole NCR Legion situation going down. Okay, where is this elder? Elder, are you in here? I might have gone the wrong way. Yes, apparently I found the bathroom. Need to be this way. Yeah, there we go. Level two. The music is very official, I gotta say. Tough crowd, tough crowd. All right, all right. Uh, let's talk to the elder. What? Oh, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? Elder Hold Lowenthal. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about. Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail. It's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Uh, in a minute, Veronica. I've been told to talk to your leader. When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here, though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Well, I do like the Brotherhood, so yeah, I'll help you guys out. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. I already think I found one of your patrols. Both paladins were dead. While that is disheartening news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. Surely you have people better suited to look for them than me. The less who are aware of this situation, the better. My brothers and sisters were deeply traumatized by the losses we incurred several years ago. It would be imprudent to worry them unduly without first discovering the facts of the situation. I don't know what I said, but I'll begin looking immediately. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them. But their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Alright, well, that's a little bit of good news. Alright, so we found the missing brotherhood at Repcon HQ. We need to find the... God damn it, I completely screwed up the quest log. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. 
in desperate times call for desperate haircuts I'm seriously what's with that comb over i think we might be able to help each other out i don't know what the elder talked to you about but i can tell you this chapter is in trouble and he's at the center of it are you willing to listen to what i have to say uh, why should I trust you? I mean, with a hairstyle like that, I you don't look like a trustworthy fellow. Why should you trust the Elder? I'd recommend listening to both of us, and choosing whom to trust for yourself. So are you willing to listen? Alright, I'll listen. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by, and many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations, and all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. How do you propose that? I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an Elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? What do I get out of helping you? If I become Elder, the lockdown will be lifted, and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again. And when that happens, it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. Good enough? I want no part of this or your hairstyle, sir. I half expected you to say that. In which case, I'll continue to pursue the matter on my own. Should you continue dealing with the Elder and find yourself beginning to see my point of view, I'll be around. Also, you get the I face of very angry constipation. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I own for that. <sighs> he means well. Veronica, for a second I thought you succumbed to the deadly wasteland disease known as Turret Face. Yeah, well, good intentions don't justify marching the Brotherhood to its death. No, but it does make it easier to forgive him. He's just misguided. It's not too late to change his mind. Do you think the Elder will listen at all? He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. So what is it you're trying to accomplish? That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers, or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're gonna survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. And how do you propose that? Look at the followers of the Apocalypse. They use their expertise to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. That expertise cultivates respect and gratitude, spreads their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends like we make enemies. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. What could we bring to him that would change his mind? I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Father Elijah? Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert, chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. Alright, well, let's head out. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. What is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. 
Uh, sir, I think there might be a problem with your power armor's radio, because you sound very muted. I mean, as much as I love this game, as much as I love Obsidian, was it really too hard for them to put a radio filter over the power helmets that the Brotherhood wears? It seems like it's a little lazy, or just they might have been a bit of an oversight on their end. I mean, it's super easy. Anyone can do it. I can do it. Watch! There! I did it! It's not that hard to do! Just... Put an easy filter over the power helmets! Alright, so enough about that random rambling. Why don't we pay a visit to their armory, see what the Brotherhood has for sale for us, and then I think that's where we'll call it. Okay, for a second I thought the game crashed again and I was just gonna punch a wall. With the fury and power of a power fist! The reports say Mr. House's robots are now using tech we've never heard of. We need to send a team up there soon. I doubt you can send a team out to anywhere with the way things are now. Hello, ma'am. The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. Anything I can help with? If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. Um, I could go look around for the pistol. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Alright, we will do, we will do. Have you found it? Sorry, I haven't found it. Yeah, I just want to see what you have for sale. Alright, so they got Ballistics Fist for sale, which are nice. They got a Fat Man for sale, which is actually for the cheap. But then again, I can get one much cheaper, aka free. They got Grease Lightning, which is, I think... Think it's a ballistics fist? I don't know. They got a grenade machine gun. Yeah, it's about as absurd as it sounds, but it, it it's there. They got a riot shotgun, a super sledge, and a thermatic lance. I don't know what ever happened to the thermatic lance that I had back back then. They got Mark II combat armor, which is nice if ever I need to get one to repair. And sadly, they don't have any weapons mods. Honestly, I don't see anything that's really jumping out at me, so I might as well just sell the unused wares that I have. Is there anything I do have that I really don't need? Uh, yeah, the reinforced combat helmet I don't really need. Anything else? These deathclaw hands that I have. Fire gecko hide. Dad's leather belt. Gotta save those pre-war books, I'll sell the central modules, uh, 324 caps, not a whole lot, but, you know, a good Pleasure start. Doing business with you. Bye. Well, with that said and done, that is a lot accomplished. We met the Brotherhood of Steel, we killed Mr. House, we brought Eddie to them, only to find out that apparently the followers want to take a look at him instead. Uh, and we brought Veronica here to see if we could... Settle her woes with the Brotherhood, and apparently we gotta go track it down some technology from to see if they can change their ways. And plus, the Elder of the Brotherhood here decided to give us a job of finding out the other patrols. So, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we got a lot of work ahead of us. We got Could Make You Care, we got Eddie My Love, and we got Still in the Dark. Woo! And also we gotta find that laser pistol that was lost. But I think we're going to start off by finding those missing patrols. We got one over by Nellis, and we got one that's actually right outside the bunker. And then after that, we'll probably transition into Veronica's stuff, and... I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But until then... Uh, ah, don't worry about me getting any ideas. Because until then, I will see you guys next time. Later! Not a whole lot of things to cover in this A&E since it's just focusing on house and a little something extra. 
But first things first, if you haven't gotten the 75 science or just never bothered to get the platinum chip from Benny, then there is a third option to get in the house's antechamber. Head out to Camp Golf and go into the back offices of the main building there. Once you're inside, you'll find a VIP card to the Lucky 38 just laying on the desk for whatever reason. Next up is House himself. Now, there really isn't any difference in the outcome dealing with him. It basically just all leads to the same... You can either disconnect him from the mainframe, leaving him there to lay helpless until he dies of disease in less than a year. Killed. Just killed me. Or give him the shock to his now short life by sterilizing his pod, causing him to spontaneously explode! <laughs> Last thing to leave on is the whereabouts of Victor, since he's nowhere to be found at the 38 after you've dealt with House. Well, if you make your way back to Good Springs and go all the way to a shack, you'll actually see his body sitting outside it with his AI wiped from the game permanently. Thus ending a friendship that could truly never be. And that's all there is to it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.